Um, well, another thing with the upstairs I, that led me to the carpet for sure, I was going to mention it, but you go, we're in another conversation with, with other people. There's a big gap between the baseboard All right. and the floor. Yeah. Carpet's going to help hide that. Right. Whereas if you refinish that, that's going to be so noticeable. Right. Yeah. And it's going to be a problem. You're going to have to fill it with something. Quarter round or something like that. Well, no, even more than... No, quarter round's not even going to look good there. I mean, you're going to have to go with like a, a crown molding is going to, to get... Because some of it was small enough to quarter round when I do it. You, three quarter round would probably be bare minimum, and I think that with that baseboard there, I don't think they would even look good. I've actually, uh, in some of the old renter properties, I've actually taken what you would put, put on the ceiling for crown molding yeah. with a curve on it. I've actually done that on the floor because it was so bad, and it, and it was like the only thing I could come up with that would work. I'm trying to picture that. The cold cold, yeah. Small cold, not not a big cold, but like a small cold. <laughs> because it was part partly because it, it it's got more of a of a, an expansion than like a quarter round or a three quarter round is going to have. Uh, well, a quarter round, like three quarter inches thick. Right, it's going to have more of that. And then it was also when I've done it was because if you look at even these baseboards, they got that that texture to it or that curve to it. Mm -hmm. And if you can find something that kind of fits that, sure. even though it's for the ceiling, it'll still fit and look good. <laughs> Just get creative yeah. if it's in a rental property. Now, in a rehab, I'm not going to do that. In a rehab, we're going to do whatever we can to make it look as professional as possible. How do you